Hello. Well, quick update here. So as you can see, uh, set the motor back in with the headers, the transmission and the transfer case. I should be getting uh, the other tubing here within a couple of days and I can reroute uh, the headers. Um, I did uh, grab the bracket off the frame for the EVAP system from the 1500 and then welded that in today. Uh, I finished you know, welding in diamond plate or just a square plate but I turned it on the edge for a diamond uh, to reinforce. I measured the drive shaft uh, to shorten the drive shaft. I still have to get that to the drive shaft shop uh, to get that taken care of. I was going to put the front drive shaft back in uh, but I found I had a bad U joint in there so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I think uh, the thing I'm going to do is once once I get the headers made uh, I again have to do two of the pipes on this one as well once I get the headers made and the brake lines rerun and the wire harness rerun you know back and underneath um, I think what I'm going to do at that point is I'm going to leave the transmission and transfer case in and then I'm going to when I pull the motor to go bring it to the machine shop to have them do the stroker kit uh, I'll probably at that point I'll put the cab on so I've got the cab set off to the side here um, all on dollies I was able to clean up a little bit in here to make some room um, I did use the crane today the Harbor Freight crane uh, to set the engine in and uh, it, it worked okay. I mean, it was overkill for that, but what I found is I didn't like is I had bought this chain fall from Harbor Freight, and it's too small. I bought a quarter ton chain fall, so I ended up having to get a half ton at least uh, to do the cab. Uh, it was more than fine to lift the engine and transmission, but I wouldn't trust it for much more than that. Uh, well, I'm kind of out of parts. Uh, still waiting for those long arms from Synergy. It's been uh, over 30 days and supposedly, you know, get them sometime here in January. But I really need that to uh, finish the front suspension. I am going to weld the brackets on for that. So they, they do bolt in to this mount here uh, using the bolts for the transmission cross member. I'll, I'll bolt that one in, but then there's a plate that comes up on the side here uh, for the upper link. And I've seen other people do it where they drill all kinds of holes in the frame and, you know, find ways to wedge in the, uh, the nuts with the, you know, the metal welded onto them so they can get them in there. I just I just, I don't think I'm going to do that. As long as I can get the transmission cross member out with the brackets welded on and they unbolt from the ones that bolt to the transmission cross member, then I'm, I'm just going to weld them on. It's, it's just not worth it to me to cut the frame up anymore. But uh, you can see I didn't really spend a lot of time uh, grinding out the step weld on the side, but you know, I, I really didn't grind it very much. I just cleaned it up a little bit to put paint on it. So I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. I definitely think it's it's more than strong enough. I mean, with the gusseting that we put on the inside or put up that I put on the inside, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. Uh, other than that, you can see. I mean, the bed <laughs> significantly higher than it was in the uh, the half ton but same height it was when I got the truck originally. I, I think someone did a two inch lift in this truck. Uh, but it's coming along. I, I really appreciate all of you that have been uh, viewing the updates and you know watching as I've been trying to slowly make progress here. Uh, it's definitely encouraging to see people viewing the, uh, the videos and I hope you're getting something out of it. And uh, thank you for your time. All right, till the next one.